Hello. Hey, Long Deng Ji. Hello, welcome to the. Hey, hello, dear Gerhard. Hello, dear Steve Baker. I miss you so much. <laughs> yeah. How are you? So, how are you doing? Yeah, I just finished my concert from other city. I back home half hour ago, so my brain brain is still here. Yeah, this is my performance. Wow. So, <laughs> so you play. Very fetching. <clears throat> Thank you, thank you. So you played a concert, played your harmonica concert or a oboe concert? Yeah, I played a concert, both harmonica and oboe, half and half. It's a through the classical and jazz and pop song, some pop song. Great, wow, great. Was this with audience? Yes, with audience uh, on the other city near my city, about one hundred kilometers. So what have you been doing for the last? Year and a half. Last year, most time I at home and go to my school because now I'm a oboe teacher on a, a conservatory of music. And sometimes I will go to uh, the different cities theater to performance. Oh. Yeah, able to perform now, but it's not much. Just uh, one month once. Yeah. Just like that. Sometimes much more than other musicians can play a year because I know from some they played last year a maximum of five gigs. So this is really would say you are in a very comfortable situation. So long. How comes you started your career, musical career, playing by the oboe? So how comes that you switch over? At least you add the harmonica. So who brought you to the idea? To play the harmonica. Yes,、uh, I start to play oboe since my ten years old、uh, because my father is a oboe teacher of conservatory of music, and then I graduate and I work. Eight years ago, I found oh, harmonica is great thing, so small and so powerful. So I start to practice that. As we know, oboe is a great instrument,、uh, but for me, because I really love. Blues music and jazz music, but oboe cannot play that very well <laughs> because oboe can't bend. Yeah,、uh, they just can play the straight note.、A、harmonica sound so attractive to me because the bending is、right. so sexy. Yeah, so I fall in love to that. And after this year, I practice a lot of jazz and classical. Yes, I really love harmonica because the bending. It is amazing. So the re- then that's why the oboe is used in orchestras to tune to because the note has a fixed pitch. Is that correct? Yes, yes. Because I often the, wondered why that was. Because in an orchestra, everybody tunes to the oboe player as a general rule. Yeah, because、uh, in the very early times, a symphony orchestra, the woodwind is flute and oboe. Flute is made by brass, and oboe made by wood. Wood、yeah. is more stable. With the temperature change,、mm-hmm. so the the tone is stable. So use oboe to. I mean, w- you started to play the chromatic harmonica and then add the diatonic harmonica, or it was the opposite side. So,、uh, uh, and which one do you prefer? Because of course, if you play, I don't know, maybe blues, or、uh, then of course you play the diatonic. But jazzy style, you use the chromatic harmonica. Yeah,、uh, on the very early time, I start、uh, playing harmonica just with the diatonic. And at that time, I used diatonic harmonica play everything, including jazz. But after one year, I saw the great chromatic harmonica playing. So that I realized, oh, the jazz and some complicated thing can use diatonic harmonica to play. It, the sound is better. So I changed to practice chromatic harmonica. But now I both harmonica I practice every day. And On diatonic harmonica, I choose different tuning to play different songs. When I play some pop song, I choose the different tuning, like power bender and some pedi tuning, some or my invent newbie tuning to. I remember you gave me a harmonica that you had tuned to an invention, a tuning of your own.、Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I still have it. Yeah, yeah, sure. That that tuning is invented by me、uh, by four years ago. The tuning just play blues. They cannot play the other. T- The other stuff just play blues because、yeah. they are all true or no. So if you see the current the Chinese scene for harmonica players, of course a lot of、uh, Chinese they play the tremolo harmonica because this is the original harmonica、uh, in China. So、uh, what do you think? How will 
the development will be in China for chromatic harmonicas and diatonic because we have the feeling that also more and more people play the diatonic harmonica in China. Yeah, now it's uh, more and more people to change from tremolo harmonica to diatonic and chromatic. In my opinion, I think chromatic harmonica is uh, more suitable for Asians, I think, because Asians, they love to play pop song and classical music because the, the bending note to many Asian people, the bending note is strange. Uh, in our country, many pop song is the A and F, you know that, feel strange of the bending sound of you mean? Tone. Do you mean that Chinese music doesn't usually use the microtonal notes that lie in between the notes of the scale so that you don't need to use those notes that you get by bending? Uh, because the bending note, uh, the, the tone is strange uh, if you don't control very well. Mo most beginner, they don't, don't have the ability to sure. control the, the tone. So I think chromatic harmonica is more convenient to, to do that. Now in China, more and more people like to play blues. I think it's a good thing to promote diatonic harmonica in China. I was certainly very impressed when I was there with some of the players that I heard and some incredibly young players who are really, really talented. And that is something which I'm pretty sure is a fairly new development. It wasn't like that 15 years ago, for example. So uh, I'm, I think we can all be very curious, yeah. you know, to see what's going to come out of China in the next, um, the next 10 or 15 years, in, because it's new music for the Chinese culture, which yeah. the people are learning. Uh, it's kind of different from uh, traditional Chinese music yeah. or whatever. So that's great to hear that there's a growing number of young people right. learning to, to play the harmonica, definitely. Yeah, yeah. so, well, long, already 10 minutes uh, gone. So it was really a pleasure to see you and to talk to you, chat yeah. a little bit. And yeah. of course, you also made a wonderful video. Uh, I think it's, it's a trio, right? Trio. Yes, a trio of me is with uh, oboe, flute, and piano. Uh, wow. It, it, yeah, it's, uh, we have, have many uh, concerts before the COVID-19. <laughs> yeah, but now it's not any performance uh, of this time. Yeah, yeah. Well, OK, so ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, I, can I say some Chinese to my Chinese? Please. Of course. Uh, 各位中国大陆的口琴手, 啊, 各位华语地区的口琴手, 大家好, 啊, 这是对我而言, 这是一个非常重要的时刻, 啊, 我被何来, 啊, 邀请参加这个, 节, 啊, 这是首次有个中国大陆的口琴手, 啊, 能在这个舞台上, 啊, 是我非常兴奋的事情, 让我也感谢各位, 啊, 感谢各位这么晚了, 还在那里, 在这里收看, 啊, 在这里陪着我, 一块度过这个, 非常难忘的, 口琴节, 啊, 也希望, 啊, 以后, 啊, 我们中国未来, 五年, 十年, 会有更多的, 呃, 口琴手, 啊, 能走向世界, 让世界, 听到我们更多, 中国人, 吹的, 口琴的声音, 感谢大家的支持, OK, finish. Long, great to see you. Hope to see you in person again soon. Thanks for contributing to United in Music. We look forward to seeing your video. And take yeah. care. Look and, after yourself. Right. And if you yeah. would like to have a little longer chat together with uh, with Long, you can go into the chat room, meet and greet at 5:45. You can hear and talk to Long half an hour. And now I wish or we wish you at least a wonderful concert with Long within the next half an hour. Thank you so much. See you soon, buddy. See you soon.